This kick is pretty easy to learn, hard to apply, but I'll explain both and why. So the kick, kick key, the kick technique, you're in your stance, come up on the angle, go up to 12 o'clock, you drop straight down to six o'clock. You're going on this angle because you're trying to get over, over your opponent's guard. So you have to come up like that, that way. Then once you, once you reach 12 o'clock with your hamstrings, you drive it down hard. You don't just let it fall down, you, you pull it down, up and then pull it down, boom. The target, target you wanna, the side of the face, clavicle, shoulder, is, quite, is, is, is ideal. I wouldn't say the top of the head is gonna hurt you too. So when you, when you fight, one thing you, uh, you'll learn after time is you wanna get out less damage. So sometimes things, if you just, instead of hitting the hard head, if you hit the neck, it's gonna hurt them just more actually, and uh, hurt you a lot less. So target, I would say side of the head, shoulder, neck, that's ideal. How to land it. <clears throat> Firstly, the biggest mistake is uh, not knowing the, the range. Now, let me show you something. So let's say I'm punching. See how short that, that, that the, the axe kick is? It's, it's the, the, the length of my punching range. So normally, you're used to uh, punching range being, you know, this long and then kicking range is longer. But in this case, the kicking range and the punching range is the same. So a rule of thumb, when you're boxing, when you can land shots and you're punching, that's where you can throw your axe kick. Not when you're teeping and throwing roundhouse kicks. If you, if you mixed up an axe kick with your, your, your uh, roundhouse and your um, teeps, you're, you're gonna miss. You're probably very likely gonna miss. But if you're mixing it up with your boxing, just like boxing in these, boxing an axe kick, then you have a much better chance. You'll be in the right range to, to land it. You don't want to spar with it because it's very hard to control. Like it's, there's weight to it. So you're going to hurt someone. So don't, don't practice it in sparring. I, I, that's, I, I wouldn't let anyone practice it in sparring and I never practiced it in sparring. Um, it, even if you're really good at it, I mean, you could simulate it, but you're not going to obviously touch the neck or the shoulder. That's, that's too risky, it's not worth it. So the two main places is, uh, shadow box and, and and the point of doing it in shadow boxing is so you remember it because sometimes the way the way you spar is not the way you fight you're not going to be throwing those elbows there's a lot of moves that you don't, don't throw in, in in sparring that you have to remember for fighting but you can't rely on oh when I get in the ring oh yeah I remember I could do drop elbows I could do and you try to remember it you're not going to remember it so you got to do it in you got to uh, shadow box like you're fighting so that's the that's the the, the memory, that's where you're instilling that memory. Bam, 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 whoop, boom. You know, and those patterns, right punch, axe kick, for example. So add that to your shutter boxing if, if you wanna add um, axe kicks to your, to your tool, toolbox.